Okay, good morning people. Today we'll be showing you how to use your T-Mobile micro SIM card and an unlock Galaxy Note 3 for Verizon. Now these settings will work for an unlock Galaxy S4 for Verizon and an unlock Galaxy S3 for Verizon. But today we'll be showing you on the unlock Galaxy Note 3 for Verizon. This is a very big phone. Wow, I like this. I really do. You know, it reminds me of a tablet and a phone combined together. This is really nice. Samsung, they 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 really know what they did when they made this phone. So anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get into it. Okay, so you see I have my T-Mobile SIM card already installed in here. It is T-Mobile, as you see. So the first thing you want to do when you turn your phone on is make sure your settings are correct. You want to go into settings. So you would, there, right there. You want to go hit more settings. You want to go to mobile networks. There we go. Okay, you want to make sure your network mode is always set to GSM UMTS. Without that, you will not get any service, any data, no phone calls. You have to make sure it is set to GSM UMTS. Network mode always set to that whenever you're using a T-Mobile SIM card. Now, you want to make sure your settings are correct before you start using your phone. You want to hit access point names. Okay, right here. You want to make sure that this is checked. T-Mobile, epc.tmobile.com. Make sure that it's checked or, again, you will not get any data or any service. Now, you want to make sure the settings are correct in there. You want to make sure name says T-Mobile exactly the way it is right there. Okay. Make sure that it's set exactly the way it is make sure your APN is set epc.tmobile.com exactly the way it is keep proxy keep port username all that the same you don't have to bother that it's already preset MMSC make sure that this is exactly the way this is people you see that Make sure that this is exactly the way this is, people. A very important step. MMSC. Without that, you will not get any data. You will not get any service. You have to make sure that it's set the way it is. Okay? And after all that is set, you go out of there. And you go back, and you should be able to surf the internet. Let's see. Ah, MySpace. I haven't been on here in a while. Let's give it a try. Let's go to my favorite site, Google. Let's see. I'll show you it's working. Here we go. And you're all set. Follow them directions, and you should have no problem. Have a good day. Thank you.